Thank you, sir. And I also want to thank all the teachers of uh, your PDA for guiding me so well and uh, preparing such a wonderful module for uh, this ATC. Okay, so Ayan, uh, let me congratulate you for your selection in Airport Authority of India as ATC. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Okay. Ayan, this exam, no, many students wrote this exam and it was very, very competitive. Yes. Sir. And also because I think there's a physics is there. There are so many I will discuss with you. So mm -hmm. you guys are to study so many subjects to yes, clear sir. this exam. So it is after time was also very short. Yeah. Time was also very, very limited time. May you were to yes. prepare it. So it was yes, a different sir. kind of 2020 match, I suppose. Huh? <laughs> yes. Sir. Okay. So I am now let me interact with you. And I'm very sure this interaction will be helpful to all those students who look forward to, you know, uh, join these kind of jobs uh, later on. So I start mm -hmm. with a brief introduction first. Ayan, please tell us which part of India you are from and uh, then what you have done, your academic background. Uh, please tell us about that before we proceed forward. Yes, so uh, I am from, uh, from Kolkata uh, and uh, I have uh, done my BE in electrical engineering. Okay. And then I have done my MTech in renewable energy. Okay. Uh, and uh, now I am uh, working at a private company uh, mm -hmm. for the time being. Mm -hmm. And I've also been selected for the ATC post, and uh, so I'll be joining there. Okay. So, Ayan, you were working in this private company uh, uh, when you wrote this exam also, or you recently? No, sir. Uh, recently joined. After, just after giving the exam, I am joined. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this, air, uh, uh, this uh, Airport Authority of India exam, for the last two years, I'm keeping the track of it. Uh, yes. Earlier, there was uh, 2021 May also, the, I think the exam was declared. Uh, yes. 20, uh, and then 2022 it was also there yes so uh you know this time uh only atc positions were declared earlier yes. airport authority declared yep. atc yes. and air operations also yes, so sir, now, I appeared uh, then time that time also had appeared okay okay so so this time when the exam was declared very less time was given right yes, Ayan? yes, sir. yes sir. So, so how much time was there i think 45 days or something Yes, after the declaration of the exam, after the, uh, when the advertisement came, from then around two months, 40 up to 60 days. Mm. So that is last to last year also were less time was given. So that means Airport Authority of India exam, whenever it is declared, less time is given to the students to prepare. Huh? Generally, uh, around uh, mostly uh, what we have seen is that they are declaring the advertisement in November, end or December, and the exam used to take place in February or March like that. Mm. But this year, they are um, kind of in a hurry. So they uh, declared before only so, actually so you... last time also when i uh, attended but i couldn't clear the uh, final list mm -hmm. so i was expecting uh, that the advertisement come this year in december only but it came beforehand so i started preparing again mm -hmm. so last year when was the this notification when this notification came last year i am uh, for this time uh, it, uh, i think uh, it was in june and beginning of June, I think. Okay, okay, okay. So, is there any chance that uh, this kind of advertisement again comes for students now? Any idea? I, I've heard some rumors, but I can't say it at, uh, like for sure. But I heard some rumors that they might uh, bring another advertisement very soon. Okay. So, are so many jobs required actually in the airport? Why, why are they recruiting so many people now? Uh, is there any reason for that? Yes, uh, <laughs> according to the news, uh, there was a lot of vacancies. There was a short uh, shortage of staff in the as an ATC. Uh, so in our parliament also the discussions have been going on regarding this, and our honourable minister has uh, announced that he will be uh, conducting he will be conducting more recruitments to uh, ease the burden on the ATCs. Okay. So, so I think uh, we can expect such um, big uh, like vacancies again soon. Okay, so I am you. You got selected as ATC, right? Yes, sir. Do you have any idea about what is airport operations and what is ATC? What is the difference between the two profiles? Any idea about that? ATC people are generally uh, concerned with the uh, um, like you know guiding the pilots hmm. in their uh, jobs, like both on the ground and also in the air and everything. That is traffic control as the traffic name control, yes. Hmm. And the airport operation people as a like a miscellaneous kind of profile i believe Over, or general management general, kind of general things. management things okay mm. and, uh, having knowledge about everything uh, mm. how the operations are going on in the airports and everything they have to manage mm. so now this uh, i am i come to this atc now uh, can yes. you tell us 
who are the students eligible for uh, writing atc exam and engineer science science students or anybody can write that uh, uh, the students who have uh, done their um, engineering be or b tech okay. and they must have uh, the science and maths in any one of the semesters they must have appeared and mm -hmm. passed other than that any people uh, with graduation in physics and maths are also allowed this uh, from the last two years previously they were allowing only engineers but mm -hmm. for the last two years, they are allowing the physics and maths. So bachelor course. of science and master of science, they can also write. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But they should have physics and maths. Physics. physics and maths background only. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ayan, what is the syllabus like for this particular ATC exam? So can you tell us about the paper, written paper? How was it? I mean, so the, the paper basically has two parts. One is the technical and the non-technical. Okay. In the technical part, the syllabus was in um, physics and maths of the 10 plus 2 level. Okay. 11 and 12 class uh, okay. physics and maths was there mm -hmm. and the non-technical part there was uh, your general aptitude mm -hmm. reasoning mm -hmm. both verbal and non-verbal reasoning was there then there was english and also general knowledge general okay. awareness right? okay mm -hmm. and because syllabus is uh, huge and the time yes, the syllabus the is, very, is very less vast yeah. mm -hmm. so I, I don't think 45 minutes 45 days are sufficient i am as you said, you wrote twice last time also yes, prepared sir. and yes, this time sir. also prepared. It held so, a lot. Huh? What is your suggestion to students who look forward to join these kind of jobs? My suggestion would be to, uh, first thing is to focus on one thing is the best. Mm -hmm. If uh, I also tried many things at, at the same time, but I will only suggest if you have time in your hand, like age is mm -hmm. on your side, then you should always uh, try to focus on one exam at a time. Mm -hmm. That is the one most important thing, I think. And uh, other than that, even in time is short, then uh, we have to optimize our time. Like, uh, for example, I took the your PDF uh, AI module. Uh, yes. In that module, all, all your teachers had uh, really guided very well and taught the whole syllabus in a very gist may, way and also covering the important parts where mm -hmm. questions can come. Mm -hmm. So uh, people can take the help of such uh, courses also. Mm -hmm. Not only in your PDF, others are also there. So mm -hmm. Anything they can take. And other than that, the NCRT books were also very helpful. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And with a very short time, it's better not to go for vast, uh, like um, detailed reference books or anything. Okay. If they want, they can, people can uh, like go through the books which they had already read in plus two level. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just go through. Otherwise, the time doesn't permit NCRT and such modules is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, can you please tell us about the cutoffs? What was the cutoffs like? Uh, for this year uh, for ATC? This year, cutoffs okay. was given in percentile, marks were not given. Okay. So, as I'm from the unreserved category, the un for unreserved category, the cutoff was like 99.85 percentile, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, I was there. seeing those cutoffs, uh, Ayan, it was written for unreserved, like you said, 99 yes. point something. 85 and percentile. Even yeah. for SCST, it was 98 point something. What is yes, the meaning sir, of that yeah. percentile? But uh, normally we see unreserved and SCST main difference to jada hota hai. Ah. What is this percentile then? Percentile basically uh, means uh, like in my category, I am uh, have scored more than uh, that many percentage yeah, of people. 99.9% like students, yes. People, I have scored more than them. Mm. So any idea about, I mean, any rough guess you would like to do, like your own case, how many mm. marks do you think you must be getting? Uh, my marks was, uh, they published the marks also. My marks okay. was, they were showing like 103. What I was in the third shift. Uh, th third shift, third shift was comparatively easier paper. Mm. So I, I got around 103 out of 120. Mm -hmm. And other shifts, uh, like uh, shift one, I guess around 91, 92 paper also was, um, I think. So since you've written last year also, Ayan, you have any idea out of 120 last year, what was the cutoff and all? Uh, last year, uh, I don't remember the exact values. Around 93 <laughs> or something was the cutoff, I guess, uh, for unreserved. 93, 94, somewhere there, I guess. Or maybe 95 max. That means in very range, competitive, in out range, of 120, yes. you need to... Out of 120, between 93 and 95 was there for the general category. Mm -hmm. so looks like it's quite competitive. Yes. Mm. So, so if you tell some students about the general uh, difficulty level of the paper, what do you will say? I mean, question questions are simple or difficult, or what, where do you rate them? In my shift, the questions were pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. That's like uh, factual based and small calculation based okay. only. Mm -hmm. In some other papers, a uh, little bit calculations involved were involved. A little bit hard question was there, mm -hmm. but. Uh, as the you know time is also 120 minutes and 120 questions have to be attempted so the question level will not be very hard mostly mm -hmm. in the easier or moderate level only questions will only come okay 
Mm. Now, Ayan, what we see is like, uh, uh, you know, this aerospace, uh, this entire particular aviation sector in the is in the phase of expansion, actually. With yes. more population and India has so many, you know, airports and so many. Yes. This aviation sector is going to grow, that is for sure. Why? Yes. Because people are traveling more now and uh, mm. because as the population has uh, already increased. The economy is also growing. The economy is growing. So it is going to expand, that is for sure. So, can you tell us something about what is this ATC job all about? I mean, uh, we see the airport, they are so the best places to roam around and you know go there. So, ATC are going to do job there only. And you are from Kolkata, so I don't know whether you can get your home state as a ATC. You can get in Kolkata. Uh, I don't have much idea regarding that. Okay, so you have no idea about what is the ATC job like, huh? No. no. Okay. Just on the profile and all, but. Okay. The how of the posting and all those things, I have no idea. And what about I mean uh, growth opportunities in the world? Could you discuss with someone? I mean, the moment you no, join ATC, that also you don't. No, know I that. don't uh, contact with anyone as such. So when are you uh, going to get the appointments and all? Uh, Any idea about Actually, that? Actually, they have said that uh, once the police verification is done and they, mm. the, the police people send the verified uh, documents to them, when they receive that, after that they will just start dispatching the appointment letters, joining letters. Mm. So, so as you said that, uh, you know, this uh, uh, paper, this particular exam, uh, you have told about the pattern also. No, uh, it is not, I think, feasible for students to start preparing for one exam for which they are not very sure when it will be declared, right? Mm -hmm. They cannot yeah. start preparing because true. there is no permanent, uh, there is no particular time when they can declare the exam. These mm -hmm. all are rumors. That's true. That's true. So, but if somebody wants to take an agent, somebody wants to keep this option also in mind, mm -hmm. then which part he can prepare so that that part is utilized in some another exams also like gate and all at the same time it is helping them in ATC also. The non-tech part is common for uh, almost all exams okay. uh, whether bank exam gate or any that mm -hmm. the non-tech part is common only okay. so, those, so they people just have to uh, as long as the advertisement is not coming out at in that time that people part. just yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the, they can do the non-tech part and they can also devote some fixed time in a week maybe okay. for the physics and maths part also mm -hmm. just uh, to keep in touch with this, uh, the subject matter and all. And when the advertisement comes, they can start uh, to prepare the, uh, with full stream and all. Okay. But uh, with this advertisement not coming, they can just keep in touch with the subject matter and when the by devoting a little bit of time. Yes. And when advertisement comes, they can focus on that another part. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. the, and that way, the, they will not be uh, seeing things when new. The topics will not seem like, okay, I've st studying this after so many years. This seems new or anything. If they just go through the stuff uh, in between. So, Ayan, is there any interview also of uh, this particular... Uh, no, sir. For air traffic control, there was no interview. There was only a voice test. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was also a test for psychoactive substances. Okay. So, that you have already done, huh? Voice test. Yes, that is all done. Already done. Okay. So, do they re uh, eliminate some candidates in voice test also? Yes, uh, generally they don't eliminate uh, unless uh, someone is stammering a lot or anything, but um, otherwise they just allow. This is just a uh, no, qualifying round. Okay, okay, wonderful. The merit list is prepared based on the written exam only. It is just a qualifying round. Hmm. So that is wonderful, Ayan. And I think uh, I have already extracted all the things, information from your side and you have very beautifully explained all the parts very nicely. Yes, and you are the example who wrote this exam earlier also. Yes, and, uh, this is the second time you wrote this exam and uh, now you qualified this exam. So that it gives uh, an idea to the students that yes, if they want some good jobs like ATC, yes, they need to uh, persevere, they need to prepare. So those students who could not make it this time, keep the hopes alive. If it uh, advertisement comes, they already have prepared. So they keep uh, keeping their profession intact. Yes, sir. That, help. that helps a lot. The last time also I amused by uh, like 1.8 or 1.9 marks only. So okay. that all those preparation, all those notes I had kept with me only because I'd already planned that I will again apply when it comes. Mm -hmm. So yes. it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. So that is wonderful, Ayan. And now I, I thank you once again for your time and I wish you all the very best for your career ahead. Thank you, sir. And I want, also want to thank all the teachers of uh, your PDA for guiding me so well and uh, preparing such a wonderful module for uh, this ATC. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.